Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with a Let's Play video um, and a game I don't actually remember ever recording a gameplay of this particular game so it's definitely in my MSX collection and I noticed it when I was going through the drawers um, when I did my recent um, MSX collection video and I thought I don't actually ever remember recording a gameplay for this one and what the heck, I like Mr. Do as well um, I actually have an arcade board of Mr. Do uh, currently very unworking, but um, a project that I'm working on, so um, Never I haven't had this cartridge very long as well it came in a bit of a, a mix lot from Japan So maybe it's one of those ones that probably should have ended up on the shelf of shame Anyway, it has a bit of a very repetitive opening music section here So let's get into it So in Mr. Do sound effects while the music's playing. That's a pity. You get a so you get a bonus for eating all of the berries in order. You can um, throw rocks like this at enemies and it gets rid of them. supposed to shoot that with a rock. Until I played Mr. Do for a while. <laughs> that was a stuff up. Oops, you better watch those apples. Play this with my arcade stick too, probably not the smartest move. And I've done this wrong. Ah, we can push the apples. Go on, fall. That's it. Oh, we changed direction. Right, so you finish your level by picking up all the berries, or I believe killing all the enemies as well. gap to get the bonus. That's it. And then does that thing up there come out? Okay. No. Bad move. time so you can't just oh god you can't just bled away okay well, at least my ball came back reasonably quickly that time no oh, oh I did it again we're gonna have to have more than one game here I'm probably doing myself a disservice trying to play this with my arcade stick actually let's go eat some more cherries When you get that, then the A comes out. Now I take it we're supposed to go and get that A. And using pathfinding, no. That's it. So we've got the A, so that gets you that extra. And you can do that once per level by the looks of it. So 
I would have preferred some sound effects rather than constant playing of this repetitive tune. But other than that, the actual play um, mechanics of the game are reasonably good. slow down there. Right, so that gets our X out. Ha oh, ha, look at that, three of them dead in one go. Got him. Oops, oh, I went through the edge and he jumped through. Got some news and music there. It's not quite the same as the arcade game though, the music of it. Oh, now that I've worked out the mechanics, let's go again. We'll have to at least see what happens when we get the x-ray. MSX has those extra sound channels, it is a little disappointing that they haven't been um, 
taken advantage of. I take it you've got to be over the right extra thing when you turn it on to get it. Trouble is, we call this yeah, open space. Oh, come on, give me the ball back. No, I'm dead. <laughs> Still got another life. We have more time. Let's get another level done there, get some points. So we've beaten our last score. finish the level and we've got an extra life. So I don't know how many levels there are but there's already been quite a few. in and only played the music on the intro, how much of a difference that would have made to the game. It would have made it just that little bit more enjoyable. Whereas this game this game's alright, don't get me wrong, but the constant uh, looping of that music really gets to you after a while. So I believe if I kill the last beastie, then get to him, that also ends the level. Yeah, there we go. Graphically, for an MSX1 game, um, version of an arcade game, it's not too bad. Um, I haven't actually played Mr. Do on the Coleco, so I don't know how similar it is to that version. I'd assume it's going to be reasonably similar. Um, but I said one big improvement that would have been fantastic would have been to um, not have that music playing the entire time during the game and just added some sound effects. That would have been brilliant. But other than that, very pleased to have it. Uh, very uncommon game, you don't see it around. Uh, I don't know really where it's valuable. I have no idea what the box looks like, obviously because I've just got a loose cartridge. Um, never seen a copy of the box. Um, but an interesting game in my MSX collection. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this game. I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.